Good morning. From the guy over here on stage left, the piano, your stage left. Feel a little uh, overwhelmed with the set here this morning, but my goodness, what a great looking crowd this morning. We are grateful that you've chosen to make Wings of Faith your church, at least for today. And if you're visiting with us, we hope you'll come back and be with us on a more regular basis. Amen. We thank you for being here. Obviously, today is a little out of the ordinary for us. We have the kids' musical, Straight Out of Bethlehem. You're going to enjoy that tremendously. But we're going to worship our great God in many ways today, including lifting our voices to Him. As the praise team comes to the stage, would you stand with us this morning? Lord, we are grateful for your blessings, Father. We are grateful that you have brought us into your house to lift your name and to glorify you this morning, God. Even from the youngest person in this room, God, to the oldest, we can all lift our voices to praise you. Lord, we honor you, we exalt you this morning, Lord, and as your presence fills this place, God, fill us with your joy and with your love as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Join us this morning. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the same. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations grow the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of Show us, 
Show us your glory. Show us, show us your power. Show us, show us your glory, Lord. up your heavens this morning, God, just like you did 2,000 years ago. We praise you, Lord. Lord, we thank you this morning, Father, for your gift of Christmas, your gift of Jesus Christ, born in a manger, as humble as anybody could ever be. This morning, Lord, we declare to those around us, to this community and to this world, that we have made our choice to worship you and to always remember the greatest gift of all, the gift of Jesus. Hallelujah. I will sing praise. I will lift my voice. I will sing praise. I made my choice. Father, we trust in you.
Our Father everlasting, the all-creating One, God Almighty. Through your Holy Spirit, conceiving Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior, I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one, I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again. Good morning, Wings of Faith. I'm Austin Woods. And I'm Pastor Josh. At this time, please pass the Black Attendance books down your row. And if you're a guest with us, welcome. 
Now it's a great time to grab one of these white connect cards from a seat pocket near you. If it's your first time with us, just fill out one of these and bring it by the information center in the lobby after service where we have a gift waiting just for you. Again, thank you for worshiping with us today. Now here are some announcements about what's going on here at Wings. Tickets are now available for this year's Christmas Dinner Theater, set for Friday, December 14th at 7 p.m. If you've attended in the past, you know what a great menu there is. Now add in the sit-down presentation of Love Came For Me, this year's adult choir Christmas musical, and you've got an evening filled with festive fun. Tickets are $12 per person and must be purchased in advance. This event will sell out, so do not delay. Purchase your tickets today. Stop by the church lobby on your way out for more details. Hey Wings of Faith family, we have a new series starting next week called Worship the King. We are so excited for you guys to join us for this four week series. A Christmas tradition here at Wings, our season of giving is an opportunity to partner with a local cause to help meet a need in our community. For this year's season of giving, we've set a goal of raising at least $2,000 to help with the purchase of new comforters, blinds, and paint to help refurbish the cottages of the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch in Citra, Florida. Please select the giving tag from our Season of Giving tree in the church lobby to help with this project. Lifestyle will be here on site next week if you want to have the opportunity to give blood to our community. It will be here after each service, the 8.30 and the 10.30 service next week. Thanks for listening to the announcements. Next, we will continue our worship and giving, followed by the excellent Quest Kids musical production, Straight Out of Bethlehem. For more information about how you can connect, grow, and serve with us, please visit wingsoffaith.com. Have I got a story for you. And the best part is, it really happened. It was just like any other night in Bethlehem. Or so we thought. For on that starry night, a miracle occurred, coming down from heaven in the form of a baby. We were surprised that something so important could happen in our sleepy little town. But the prophet Micah foretold it in the scriptures when he said that straight out of tiny Bethlehem would come one to be ruler over Israel.
Good morning, friends. Up and at them. The inn is nearly filled to capacity, and there is work to do. Rise and shine, my fellow world changers. There's just something about today. I feel it in my bones. It's a beautiful day, and we get to shine. It's not that I don't agree with you. It's just that I don't think I've quite caught up to your enthusiasm just Oh, now. you beastly Maddie, get that body into gear. There's not a minute to waste. I don't think my eyes are awake yet. Well, my eyes are, and you look marvelous. We better get to the stables. Our animal friends will be hungry right about now. I'm pretty hungry, too. Well, thanks to your early rising friend, Star got up early, made breakfast, and set the table. Let's grab some to go, Gary. The animals sound like they're about to revolt, and you know they really need a stable diet. Ha! But wait, before we go by our choice, I just want to take a minute and celebrate. What's to celebrate that we're orphans and it's just another day in Bethlehem? And who is this ray of sunshine? Everyone, this is our newest guest. We found her wandering around town last night and invited her in. That's how we all got here. Trixie had room in her in, and now we're one, one big, happy family. Gonna stay with us for a while? Only because I assumed it will be less noisy than the streets. Well, my slightly grumpy new friend, I am glad that you can be here today, too, because... Is she always this perky? Yes, sometimes even more so. Today is my one-year anniversary of being here at the Inn of Bethlehem with you fine people. Has it really been a year already, Star? Yes, I just want to take a minute and appreciate everything and everyone. <laughs> boop! That has made this past year so special. Did she just boop? Your nose. She does that. You'll get used to it. Not sure about that. And what's so special about being here in Bethlehem? <laughs> so many things. It's really not being good, but there's good in every day. Our God does the impossible. He will make a way. Turn your face toward the sun in the shadows. They fall behind you. The dawn brings possibilities for walking in his ways. And when the night's around us, we pray them just the same. Our God has not forgotten us. Every day is brand new. Anything can happen here. Anything can happen. Anything can happen here. Anything can happen. Anything can happen here. Here in Bethlehem. We cannot help but feel it when we're singing and it's popping. Something extraordinary keeps our toes to top it. Anything can happen here. Anything can happen here. Here in Bethlehem. So we sing and we celebrate and wait for the Messiah. He will come. Taking one forward is not a disaster. It's more like a cha-cha.
tables. Me too. Time to balance the books. After saving up for the past two years, I finally upgraded my abacus. It's an A+. What a technological wonder. Who could have dreamed it was possible to invent something so advanced? OK, my sparkling friends, I am ready to go. I'll cover the check-in desk. I'll go my dog. Where are you going to volunteer, Blake? Uh, I'm going to feed my doll, too. You have a doll? I can introduce her to my doll. Her name is Esmeralda, and they can be friends. Sorry, kid. I was just joking. You know, Blake, serving here at the inn is one of the ways us orphans of Bethlehem can really make a difference. Maddie is right. I am thankful for a safe place to stay and the people that love me. Why don't you go out to the stables and check out Gertie's animals? She'll tell you all about them. Whatever. Good morning, my friends. Are you hungry? No! Ah! Here you go, some nice, nutritious food. And I forgot you chickens. Don't I feel stupid? They're now yup. I'm and now it's going to be a busy day here in Bethlehem. I'm sure you'll make some new friends when more people arrive with their senses, with their animals. They sent me out here to help. I followed the smell. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Blake. Blake, meet our very oh-so-talented animal friends. Talented? Did you trick or something? Better than that, they sing. Well, sing might be a little of a stretch. No, they definitely sing. It's a moving experience. <laughs> I call them from farm to stable. Okay. <laughs> Do you hear it? Yes. Beautiful friends, let's show them what you got. Boogie, 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 boogie
If I'm being honest, it just sounds like animals, but I respect her dedication. Only two rooms left. The numbers are up 33% from last year. The census sure has helped our business and the day has been flying by. Ooh, here comes our next customer. I'll show you the ropes, Blake. Welcome to the Inn of Bethlehem. We're happy you've chosen to stay with us today. Third door on your left. Thank you. Only one room left. This place is really hopping. It's like everyone's here to celebrate my one year anniversary. Ooh, here are two more. Welcome friends, this is your lucky day. Tell them why, Blake. Uh, because this is our last room. Isn't that right, Blake? Uh, yeah, last room. I hate to micromanage Blakely. May I call you Blakely? But you could use a little more oomph when you talk to the customers. Try adding more drama to make every sentence an announcement. Here's your chance, except wait, we have no room, so. Welcome to the inn. We have no room. Maybe a little less drama. No room, please. We've been traveling all day, and as you can see, my wife simply cannot travel any far. Oh so. my goodness, I can see that. Let me get her a chair. I am from the house and line of David, and we have come from Nazareth to register for the census. We need a place to stay. Mary's about to have a very special baby. Ooh, babies are always special. I knew today was going to be extraordinary. I just knew it. You don't know the half of it. You want to hear the story? I'm ready. Lay it on me. I could go for the story. The animals are still home for the evening. Gather around, everyone. Story time. Esperanza's ready. What I'm about to tell you will be hard to believe, but I assure you, that's the truth. Truth. An angel came to me in a dream, and she said, Wait, an angel? Yeah, an angel. Okay, sorry, go on. I just wasn't expecting it to go that way. Tell me about it. Give us heaven, David, do not be afraid, because the Holy Spirit given her a son. She will give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will say, hey, people from their sins. And they will call him, they will call him, they will call him. They will call him, they will call him, they will call him. They will call him. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us, God with us. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us. I woke up and did what the angel of the Lord had commanded. I took Mary home as my wife. Yaza, I can't believe you saw an angel. Believe it, Mary saw an angel too. You did? What did this angel say? Mary, 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 you found favor with God. Be afraid. It was an angel. An angel. She will give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will say, Hey, people from their sins. And they will call him, they will call him, they will call him.
Hello, I'm Trixie, and I run the Inn of Bethlehem. Star has told me of your predicament, and I'm really very sorry. If we could help, we would. But there really are no rooms left. I just don't know what to do. Every other inn is booked up. Miss Trixie, I have an idea. If you want to, you can come stay with my amazing animals in the stables. John Luke and I keep it pretty clean in there, and I can make sure the animals are really well behaved. Plus, my animal choir could sing to you. Huh? Follow me. Can you believe it? This baby Jesus is Christ, the Messiah. I've always had a certain way of knowing when the day is going to be incredible. I can tell these things, you know. Don't you always think the day is going to be incredible? Well, yes. But it always is! Well, I got them settled in the stables, but I don't think that baby's going to wait much longer. So exciting. What a blessed day. Listen, Perky, you got to dial it down. I've been on my own for a while, and I can tell you, things are not as much as Things are not as awesome as you think. What do you mean? This is an ordinary inn. It's not a special day. Those animals don't sing. And even though you think you have a family here, you're worse than an orphan. Agree to disagree. Just saying. It seems like I can earn some more money here. I'll be getting straight out of Bethlehem. some friends to surround you and tell you how much they care about you. Come on, everybody, circle around. That's okay. I'm fine. I always am. Hey, what if those two people that are talking about seeing angels? I mean, seriously, angels? Surely you can't believe them. Of course I believe them. Let's think logically, Blake. Both Mary and Joseph saw an angel at different times who told them the same thing. What are the chances that two different people saw an angel? We've just seen an angel. Hundreds of angels. It was terrifying. They told us the Savior was to be born tonight. See? Someone else saw angels tonight. We sure did. They were everywhere. Let me give you the skinny. Oops. 
I feel another story coming on. Windows Toolpath. Windows 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 Man, we were, man, they were appearing left and right, and it really psyched us out. And we were like, whoa. And the angel was like, can you dig it? Dig what? We were just watching the fields of our sheep, like we always did. We saw funky ruby sight. We were going so, out because of long cold caps. Suddenly, the glory of the Lord shone out about them. And they were terrified. Do not be afraid, I am bringing you good news, good news of great joy for everyone. To you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, the Messiah of the Lord. We sing the disco Gloria. We sing the disco Gloria. We sing the disco Gloria. When those righteous angels said, this will be a sign for you, you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, 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 there was with the angel a multitude of heavy hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. to one another, let's keep on trucking to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. The Disco Gloria. Glory to God. Right on. I have to give him something, but I don't have anything. No one expects you to give anything, real orphan star. Here, I want the baby to have my dolly. This is of Marotta, considered a gift for the king. Here, I'd like to offer my new abacus. How can we not offer everything we have to the Messiah, the Savior of the world?
expect that God said this baby. God has forgotten about us. He doesn't have time for people like us. We all feel lonely sometimes. And we all have times we feel sad. But we have felt the love of God through our family here at the end. And now through this miracle. The Bible says that God has heard the cries of his people and that he will send a Messiah. We just witnessed the birth. God has just shown that he has not forgotten about us. We may be orphans, but we are part of a family. God's family. And when you think about it, we're all really orphans grafted into the family of God. None of us has to be alone in this life because God has adopted us into his royal family. And we are his forever.
Let's give these guys a round of applause. You guys did such a great job. Oh. For me, it's hard because even though I have a kid in the production, they're like all of my kids. And so I get emotional even back there. I'm like, don't cry. Uh, but I want to thank all of you parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles who uh, listened, encouraged, helped, prayed. Uh, this isn't possible. These kids can't do this on their own. They need the support that you guys give. And as a church, we want to give you thank you. And we just want to thank you for being uh, such a big part of what this church is doing to impact children. Amen? I mean, these children are sp spending the message of God. Amen? And I bet you didn't think you'd show up on a Sunday and hear an animal version of a gospel song. But hey. It's always a first, right? Um, I do want to say a special thanks to, um, to some important people that really helped us kind of pull this through. Uh, Mr. Charlie's in the area somewhere. He helped us with the set design, so I want to thank Mr. Charlie. Uh, James is back there. He ran media for us today, so I want to thank him. Uh, that was really helpful for us to give Carl an opportunity to be a dad and kind of enjoy the presentation. We had lots of moms that helped us with kid crowd control during the practices and helped make breakfast for us this morning. So for those parents especially, I want to thank them. So that's a big deal. Uh, but also, Christy, can you join me up here? Um, when we do children's ministry with all these fun kids who have... They lost it. You see, now they got through the performance, and I was like, all the energy is everywhere. Um, but it's very difficult to do this work without faithful, willing volunteers. And um, what makes our job easier is when we have someone that we know is praying, is working, uh, is supporting us and this ministry. And Miss Katie, as our director, we just want to recognize her publicly. Come on over here. She has been a great help working this presentation, making it what it is. She'd send me emails from work. She'd send me text messages in the car. What do you think about this? How's this going to work? Um, but always positive and supportive and has a heart for these kids. And so hey, can we say thank you to Miss Katie? Thank you. <laughs> She's so good. Um, you may have heard this in the actual song, but um, this plaque says optimist. Okay. And this is what I hope you guys are. Someone who figures that taking a step backward after taking a step forward, it's not a disaster. It's more like a cha-cha, okay? So sometimes maybe we need to do that with our problems in life, amen? All right, well, as we close, um, I just want to remind you guys, we're going to pray here to leave in a minute. Um, the most beautiful part about this entire performance is the message. And the message is that we aren't alone, we aren't outcasts, we aren't orphans, that we've been absorbed into God's family. Amen. And the holidays is sometimes a very difficult time for folks uh, because of different issues with relationships or trauma that's happened. But uh, we need to remind people that they're not alone. God is here for them. He sent his son so that they could be, we could be part of a family. And so we don't have to be alone this season or any time in our life. And that's the true beauty of Christmas, that God came down for us so that we could be part of his family, not just here, but forever. Amen. So I'm going to pray and dismiss, and I'm going to let the, uh, the kids hang out here so your parents can get pictures and hug on them and, and do what you guys do. But uh, if could you stand with me as we pray to dismiss? All right, let us pray. Lord God, I just thank you. I give you the honor and the glory for what we've been able to do here with these children. I thank you that the message of Christ's coming can be announced to not only the neighborhoods, but the nations, Lord God. Help us to remember that we are part of your family and that we should love and care uh, and just treat everyone like they're a part of our family because that's what you've called us to do. Lord, I pray that you protect us, that you keep us, that you guide us. Let us look to you, Lord, in everything that we do, Lord, in anticipation of your coming. We thank you and we give you praise. Amen.